Hi, in 5G, there are different modulation schemes. Let's understand modulation in detail. Any baseband signal, which is a lower frequency range signal, such as a human speech, in few hertz, when transmitted over the air, it doesn't travel for longer distance. And we have to modulate it with the high frequency periodic signal, which is also known as carrier signals. Now, these carrier signals, when encoding the information in terms of sequence of bits, it will be then adjusted its amplitude or phase or frequency every time we send the information. Now, modulation is helping in different ways. One is reducing the size of antenna. If we have to send a smaller frequency information, we need to have a large size of antenna in that case. Now, if, say for example, if we have to send a human speech over the air through a lower frequency, it will require a very large antenna in that case. Whereas if we are considering a carrier frequency of 800 or 900 megahertz, this particular size of antenna reduced down to a meter or less. Modulation also helps in reducing the interference as we are modulating the signals in terms of amplitude or phase. There is less chances of interference in that case. And it will also help to multiplex the different signals to pass through. And one example here we see that once the bits or the information when passed on, it changes its phase every time in terms of a QPS case, say for example. So in case of different modulation schemes, what it does is different number of bits can be sent per symbol. Symbol we understand is the smallest part of the one slot which we have seen in the frame and our frame. Now, if we send more number of bits per symbol, obviously our bit rate will increase and the throughput will improve. Now, in case of QPSK, we are just sending two bits per symbol, whereas in case of 16 QAM, it will be four bits per symbol. Now, there are different 16 combinations in this case, each of four bits. And how it is getting distinguished is on the basis of the amplitude or on the basis of the phase. So if you see the when the amplitude is changed by 25% and there is a phase difference of 225 degrees, in that case, we'll have one set of modulation here in this case, or there is different combinations, 16 different combinations that can be made by having a phase or the amplitude difference in between them. So this is how the different data sets can be set or sent efficiently through modulation. This modulation scheme keeps on increasing up till 256 QAM in downlink. And this signifies that how fast we can transmit the data. And we'll talk about these modulation schemes and the code rate in detail in the next slide.